It is common to find trees such as pinus, cedrus and cycas growing in the cooler regions of India. All of them are gymnosperms. A group of plants in which the ovules are not enclosed by an ovary wall and remain exposed or naked before fertilization as well as post-fertilization when they develop into seeds. These seeds germinate to give rise to new plants. If you take a look at the morphology of gymnosperms, you will notice that most of them have tap roots. Moreover, in some genera, such as Pinus, the roots have a fungal association in the form of mycorrhiza, while in other genera, such as Cycas, small specialized roots called coralloid roots have an association with N2 fixing cyanobacteria. The stems of a gymnosperm can be branched or unbranched, and the leaves can be compound as in Cycas or simple as in Ginkgo. Moreover, these leaves are well adapted to withstand extreme climatic conditions as seen in balsam fir. Its needle-like leaves reduce the surface area, which in turn reduces loss of water due to transpiration. Even the thick cuticle and sunken stomata on the leaves reduce the rate of water loss. The reproductive structure of a gymnosperm is called a strobilus or a cone. And gymnosperms have both male and female strobili. Interestingly, the strobili may be born on the same tree as seen in Pinus, or on different trees, as seen in Cycas. The male strobilus has spirally arranged leaf-like structures called microsporophylls, which bear microsporangia, a structure that produces haploid microspores. A few microspores develop into male gametes called pollen grains and the rest degenerate. Another name for male strobili is microsporangia. The female strobilus is a cluster of megasporophylls which bears ovules containing the megasporangium or nucellus. The megasporangium, surrounded by a layer of envelopes, produces haploid megaspores, and a megaspore mother cell, which looks distinctly different from the other megaspores. The megaspore mother cell undergoes meiosis to give rise to four haploid megaspores. One of these spores develops into a multicellular female gametophyte. The female gametophyte further bears two or three female sex organs called archegonia, which develop inside the ovule. The development of archegonia is followed by the fertilization process during which pollen grains released from the microsporangium are carried by air currents and come in contact with the micropyle an opening in the ovules. 
A pollen tube sprouts from the pollen grain and grows towards the archegonium where it discharges the male gametes. These gametes fuse with the egg to form a zygote. Post-fertilization, the zygote develops into an embryo and the ovule into a seed. Interestingly, gymnosperms were the first plants to have a seed habit. Today, gymnosperms are widely used to make products such as varnish and cosmetics. They also provide us with lumber that's used to make furniture.